Hey, guitar family, it's me, Uncle Fabian Dan. I went abroad. Look what it is. It's all snip. This is Luponic Distortion IPA, Firestone Walker. Can you see that? Oh yeah, and right here we have color box JHS version one and two. And the super distortion from MXR. I'm gonna use this to show you um distortion because a lot of people say that this is a distortion, then that the color box gives you distortion and distortion. We're gonna see if it really is distortion. Cause um I know a lot of people don't know what this does. They're like, why do people buy color boxes? Why, why, why would you pay $400 for a color box? Um, either version. And so today we're going to find out why. I have um, a clean looper pedal. Oh, yeah, the Jam Man from Digitech. Digitech, let's try this. I noticed that last time I said, oh, just like, hoppy. Hmm. Poppy. Oh, maybe a little bit skunky. Maybe that's why they sold it. You know, some of this beer, I always wonder if you buy it on sale, it's like, hmm, it's because it's skunky or past. Someone complained. It's cool because it has like a lion putting his dukes up old school, like boxing style against a bear. You can see that. Probably not. There's a lot of glare on there. Put that right there. Maybe you can get a sense of it. But yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, play the guitar clean. On this color box because we're going to see what exactly is the color box distortion that this Neve 1073 does and uh, these don't come with it, these little buttons I put them there for my fingers because you know um, pushing these it's really hard like when it's just the metal tip and these little plastic things make it really easy and so this is the original one and the original color box um, it needed 18 volts and the new one is nine volts, no special adapter. You can just use you in like a, a, a one spot, which don't really fit in the one spot, right? If you use them, who's using those, right? Are those really saving spaces? Okay, <laughs> back to the JHS pedals. Um, they changed the logo on this one. This one has the original logo and this one has a new logo on it. I don't know, it looks a little bit more um, grown up. It does and the MXR is just here so we can hear like a, a distortion a clean like we're gonna go clean distortion and then we're gonna add color boxes and right now everything's like pretty much it's a, it's a preamp so it's it's literally an EQ it has low middle high and you could just tweak it and this one has even more even more capabilities because it has like a cleaner this one can only kind of be dirty it's a bad boy and this guy can be clean clean up you know and they say oh the boy cleans up well the boy cleans up well and um when i say that in titanic oh he cleans up well mm. yeah so this is distortion on it doesn't it distortion so let's hear some distortion all right color box mm -hmm. one and yeah i forgot to mention how these work um, you know, this is like the main volume. This is like the the gain, and this is like a step where I get. The more you step up, the more gain you get, and it just gets louder and louder. And it's just a regular EQ, you know, which is like treble, middle, and low, you know, and um, a high bypass filter. So this is the clean tone. It's the color. Uh, I'm using the PV Viper One. Um, it's the So we're going to add distortion. So we're going to record the distortion.
Yeah, I didn't hit record, so we're going to do that one more time. So now it's going to play it back. So that would be clean. Just moving the knobs like a madman. Okay, what do we learn from that? Well, we learn from the color boxes that um, the distortion that it creates is kind of like a splatty fuzz. I don't know if I'd call it a distortion. This has a real distortion on um, the Super Badass. And these, yeah, they have like a very splatty sound. And this one <clears throat> is uh, way, 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 I think, um, more buzzier than that one. Let's hear what it does, because a lot of people are like, well, what? how does it make distortion? We'll start it as, like at the middle, right? This is kind of like at the lowest position, at the lowest step down. Turn on. So pretty much like even at all the EQ. And you start adding the gain, like. Very splatty. I would move up one more step because it's kind of choking out right here. Let's go another step higher. Let's um, go back to the humbucker. So they don't really make a real a real clean distortion. People do call that. They do all that Beatles stuff, revolution sounds, and they um but I think where uh the beauty in this pedal lies is where it, um where it goes on top of things. Where it goes on top of this um pedal. It lies really beautiful on top. Watch. Here it is clean. So here we go. 
that's the distortion, right? Here it is without. Now let's add some color box. So it adds like, like sparkle. Layer one. Layer two. Layer three. distortion okay let's add this what step are we in I think we're kind of high let's start from the bottom step one a step. It's no easy, but who cares? It's rock and roll, baby. that one person out there going why doesn't he put that one into that one one first so we can hear how like splat city baby So yeah, I'm, I'll do a clean version with delay, but today we're gonna just do distortion, right? Because the beer's called distortion. <laughs> Focus. So let's try another one of these um, knob turners, or I turn the knob. Let me get another um, another fake riff going here. To turn all this off. Well, that's not loud enough, baby.
that's let's hear the color box we'll just Was that enough noise and fun, or do we need to do more? <laughs> I think that was enough. What? And you know what? Let's do some lead work, because everyone's like, I always see people do like the Beatles stuff, and um, uh, let's do some. Let's do some stuff without cussing. Do some lead line, but like in the neck.
That's enough. That's enough to be out of you. All right, kid. Let's... I could talk about it. I guess that was enough. That was enough. Uh, some differences between the two pedals, I'll tell you right now. Um, this this one right here, the original one, both of them suffer from the same thing. Like, um, you know, you're re recording, maybe you're doing a little bit of this, and you need to go from like the microphone to the instrument cable. You got to stick a little toothpick in there or something. You're going to break it, maybe. Uh, same thing with both pedals. Um, that's my only. And it means it's like, you know, for $400, maybe um nicer click. You know, let me see. Pretty clicky. This one's a $100 right here. Just as clicky. So, yeah, um, 400 bucks. You get a clippy clip. And these lights, are they blinding or what? And this, I got bright, bright, bright lights right now that are like con, that are like kind of fighting against it. But normally this thing would blind you. And be like, I used to put like um little tinters that you put on um, VCRs in the nighttime to make them dim so you don't like get blinded or or any kind of like electronics that has like a blinking light. I have like this tape that dims it. But yeah, and the MXR is my favorite distortion right here. And I just kept it on one setting, my favorite, you know, just a nice martially sounding sound out of a Viper. <clears throat> VIP one amp and yeah like I see um say um a lot of people don't know what these pedals do right I always hear people are like on the internet go oh these are great for this and that for that but I never really hear like explain like how it's a distortion it's not a distortion it's more of a splatty fuzz but you can get a lot of great tones with it and it really does push things like if you don't have, like if you have a microphone like um i have an sm7 and it needs to have a, a p uh, a preamp and this preamp just is beautiful it just it, that's where that's where its beauty is where this eq really where is that fuzzy buzz noise coming from i guess that other all the pedals and stuff well i'm sorry about all the noise all the hiss and hass but yeah, this, these two color boxes, I always see them, and people never, I've never seen anyone shoot them out. And then it's not really a shootout, but to show you what they do, and what they do is they add, like, sparkle, sparkle pony. They add sparkle on top of whatever you're doing. So if you have a nice distortion, it's almost like, it's like, bam, it's like, dare I say it, an aphrodisiac on top of an aphrodisiac. And... The only thing with these pedals is um, they're pricey, but they do have a transformer in them that makes them sound really warm. But yeah, they're not a distortion. I wouldn't use it just myself. Other people probably do. They probably use it probably exactly, exactly probably for that. Just exactly to make for this, that. Just to make <coughs> this splatty <coughs> sound. Not me. Splatty sound. Not me. I prefer this. I prefer this. this on this. top. Put this on the top. Be and, and, Whatever, and you know. It's whatever, all good. You know. It's all good. And you can use, and you can um, use microphones um, with microphones it. With um, it um, and I think you can have both the microphone and the other. And there's two outs. And you can have both of them working. Works beautifully. And I'm going to go because it sounds like someone's attacking my health. So, yeah. And I used a Squire 51 guitar over there. And, um... So yeah, it's not really a review of these pedals. I had this one when it first came out. It's like number 399. Is it? No, <laughs> 399. Uh, 12.99. So it's early on. We still wrote numbers on it. This one right here, it came later and has stickers on it. Beautiful stickers on it. Let me show you the bottom of them. Like, bam, how like that. One has the old... The old logo, I don't know if you can see it, the new logo. Jerry Chess, let me go, let me do a little bit of side because I know that the light is like bleaching it out. It's like blowing it out. All right, well. And once again, they don't come with these, um, this is what they look like. No, I don't, I'm not even going to pull them off. They feel too good. But yeah, they should come with these because these are beautiful. Without those, I'd have to do, um, you know, I'd be, um, I put them on everything. 
thickness on everything. See? This is a little cool distortion speech, you know, crunch distortion. I use this one, no battery in it. I put two cables in, I use it as a kill switch. Bam. All right, well, Fabian did out. Remember, take out the garbage, don't do drugs, stay out of school. Uh, unless you're supposed to be in school. 